Scientists may have solved the mystery of the Aumuamua interstellar object, which in 2017 puzzled researchers and even led some to say it was an alien spacecraft. The most surprising thing about this object was that its speed did not match the speed of any other object observed before and was ever increasing. After several years of research, Jennifer Bergner, an associate professor of chemistry at the University of California, Berkeley, and Daryl Seligman, a National Science Foundation postdoctoral fellow at Cornell University, published a theory in the Journal of Nature that could explain everything disappointing UFOologists. What went wrong with Aumuamua? The first ever interstellar object to be observed unexpectedly appeared in the solar system in 2017 and immediately put scientists in a difficult position. The space object, Aumuamua, and the artist's imagination. It was a 200 meter long cigar shaped rock that was first mistaken for an asteroid and then reinterpreted as a comet. During its journey through our solar system, it approached the Earth at a distance of 24 million kilometers and then flew out of the system. Its entire journey past the Sun and Earth lasted about 80 days. During the observations of Oumuamua, researchers found that it was moving in a so-called hyperbolic orbit similar to a boomerang. It was thanks to this that scientists were able to establish for sure that the object did not come from our solar system, but only flew in the neighborhood and would never be seen again. But what surprised scientists even more was the speed of Oumuamua, in particular the acceleration noticeable during the flight past the sun. Scientists have long known that planets and stars can provide gravitational acceleration to comets or asteroids, but Aumumua's speed of 87 kilometers per second did not fit into existing theories, being three times faster than the average comet in the solar system. There was also the possibility that the object was accelerating due to the evaporation of surface ice as it flew past the sun, but in this case, it should leave a visible trail, but nothing of that sort happened. It is because of these nuances in the cigar shape of the Aumuamua that the scientists did not hesitate to suggest aloud that they were observing an alien craft equipped with an engine, why Aumuamua was accelerating. Now Bergner and Selegman have come up with an idea that explains everything, but has only one minor problem. Quote, I've been trying to explain the gas emission for several years now. At first, I thought that maybe there just wasn't too much dust in the gas stream to form a tail. Later, we thought that maybe Aumuamua was made up of some more volatile material than what we see in normal comets, such as hydrogen, nitrogen, or carbon monoxide. But there were theoretical problems with each of these explanations, Seligman told Space. He noted that hydrogen needed extremely low temperatures to freeze to an object the size of Aumuamua, and scientists do not expect such temperatures inside the dense molecular clouds from which these objects are formed. Nitrogen is not abundant in the Milky Way. The researchers then suggest that there might be nothing strange about the chemistry of Aumuamua. Quote, a comet traveling through the interstellar medium is essentially cooked by cosmic radiation, producing hydrogen as a result. We thought, quote, if this is happening, can it be trapped in the body so that when it enters the solar system and heats up, it releases hydrogen, Seligman explained. The calculation showed that in theory, the force of this hydrogen release would explain Aumuamua's strange acceleration. Quote, Jennifer's idea is great because this is exactly what should be happening with interstellar objects. We had all these silly ideas about hydrogen icebergs and other crazy things, and it's just the most general explanation, Seligman said. The only problem with this theory is, is that Aumuamua has disappeared from the solar system forever and is no longer possible to prove it definitively. Scientists hope that another interstellar visitor will eventually arrive in the solar system, which will allow them to answer the question that interests scientists. Unraveling a Space Mystery Aumuamua's appearance sparked a debate among astronomers as soon as it appeared. Quote, it was an exciting time with astronomy when Aumuamua was first discovered, and it just became more and more intriguing since the more we learned about it, the harder it became to explain its behavior, Bergman said. As a astrochemist, my own scientific interest in Aumumu developed as a model and started emerging to explain its acceleration, which implied pretty unusual chemical properties of the object, Bergman said. Bergner heard a talk by Daryl Seligman, a National Foundation postdoctoral fellow at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York, about what kinds of molecules might 
find the best acceleration. The two began to work together on ways to test acceleration theories for the interstellar comet. Together, Seligman's deep understanding of Aumuamua and Bergner's background in ice phase chemistry allowed them to come up with a new theory. The duo envisioned Aumuamua as a water-rich comet traveling through the interstellar medium or the space between stars. Over time, the reddish object was bombarded by radiation, which formed hydrogen inside the comet. Bergner found previous research from decades past that revealed ice could be converted into molecular hydrogen, suggesting that the snowball-like structure of the comet could trap the hydrogen in bubbles within the ice. The heat of the sun would then force the bubbles to release the gas in a fan-shaped spray. Quote, when the body is warmed, the water ice restructures to a more stable and compact form, and the trapped gas can escape, Bergner said. This could explain Aumuamua's behavior, but it doesn't need to invoke any exotic chemistry or physics. As hydrogen released from the interstellar comet, it accelerated the small object. The fact that there was no dusty coma around the Aumuamua can also be explained by using the same scenario. Even if there was dust in the ice matrix, you're not sublimating the ice, you're just rearranging the ice and then letting hydrogen get released. So the dust isn't even going to come off, Seligman said. What's beautiful about Jenny's idea is that it's exactly what should happen to interstellar comets. He had all these stupid ideas like hydrogen icebergs and other crazy things, and it's just the most generic explanation. The Search for Interstellar Objects Observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope can help astronomers learn more about where comets formed in planetary systems beyond our own, as, as well as the composition of these exo-comets, Bergner said. When the Ver C. Rubin Observatory in Chile begins operations in 2025, it will aim to detect a few interstellar comets, like Mau Mau each year, allowing astronomers to better understand the nature of comets from other planetary systems. Quote, the comets and asteroids in the solar system have arguably taught us more about planet formation than what we've learned from the actual planets in the solar system, Seligman said. Quote, I think that the interstellar comets could arguably tell us more about exosolar planets than the exosolar planets we are trying to get measurements of today. Rubin Observatory Legacy Surveys of Space and Time, or LSST, program will observe the skies in the Southern Hemisphere for 10 years. If we had the LSST online prior to Al Mau Mau's passage through the inner solar system, we would have discovered it much earlier in its trajectory, Seligman said. We could have the opportunity to send a space mission to intercept and rendezvous with the object because it came so close to Earth. Therefore, in the future, when we discover more interstellar objects, we'll be able to send a dedicated space mission to an interstellar object. So guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.